Hey guys, so I'm at the Bad Bunny concert and I just randomly decided because it's December 1st that I should vlog what lipstick I'm wearing. Givenchy. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> I just dropped it <laughs> all over my pants. <laughs> but it is this Givenchy um, Rouge Antardi. I've had this for a long time. Hey, say hi, Kayvon. Bernice, Kevin, my faves. Um, yeah, so I'm wearing that and I'm embarrassing myself in the middle of this row with people watching. But um, hi, so I'm at the Bad Bunny concert right now. It hasn't started yet, but I thought I would vlog really quick. I know it's like super loud in here, but I'm actually wearing the Givenchy Rouge on Tour D, which I thought went kind of well with my top. I'm wearing a blazer and then sandals because it's still really hot in here, even though it's freaking December in Houston. So I thought I would vlog. Again, I'm wearing a Givenchy Rouge on Tour D. I actually gave this to my mom and then she ended up uh, getting it back. And I think the concert's starting, so I'm going away. Bye-bye. Hey guys, it is day two of my 12 days of lipstick um, lipstick diary series where I use up all my lipstick, declutter, etc. Today I'm wearing this Sephora collection lip balm. That's actually sold out now, um, but it's only $5 and I got it for, on sale for like five bucks, I think last year, at some point last year. And um, I really, really like them and I actually forgot to bring it with me. So I will insert a picture of it right here if I can find it, <laughs> probably lost somewhere, but I like it. I got it in two colors and I'm wearing the nude color, but it's funny because that Givenchy lipstick from last night is actually still stained my lips. I don't know if you can see through it because it's kind of worn off now. The the lip balm I used this morning. So it's funny because it actually still stained my lips. I used so much makeup remover, still couldn't get it off, which is fine. I don't mind a good stain because um, all that means is I can put on lip balm and be comfortable. So yeah, day two of my 12 days of lipstick inspired by the holiday season slash December. Um, I will see y'all tomorrow. Good morning slash afternoon. Um, I am feeling bold this lipstick diary. <laughs> so I am feeling like I wanna try out all this new stuff. I'm not even wearing really any makeup. I barely put on any blush. All I did was put on a little concealer and I didn't even like line my, uh, fill in my eyebrows. I just used a brow gel. So I was feeling like super bare face today. Like I wanted a very minimal face. And then I was like, you know what? Let's make it a little bit bold with a red lip. So I am using NARS, uh, Cruella, which I always want to call Can. I don't know why I get it confused with NYX Can. It's not even the same color, but it's NARS Cruella matte um, lip pencil. And it's actually the one from the birthday gift like years ago. I still have it, but um, yeah, I thought I would be a little bit bold and a little bit fun. And I'm actually trying to experiment with the bolder colors lately. So we'll, we'll see how that goes, but it is day three of my lipstick, 12 days of lipstick. Um, let me know in the comments, comment below and let me know if you would like to see like a five days of red lipstick, like wearing red lipstick to work every day for a week or something. Um, just like different red lipsticks and experimenting with different colors. Give me recommendations for what kind of lipstick diary videos you would like to see. Cause that would be super fun. All right. I will check back with you tomorrow. Bye. Hello. Good afternoon. It is, I believe it's day four of my lip diary, my lipstick diaries. I'm could be wrong. I'm losing track of time. Um, today I am wearing something I am not proud to admit that I bought. <sighs> so my Black Friday haul video, not haul, Black Friday anti-haul, I talked about how I wasn't going to be buying any makeup and I bit the bullet, no pun intended, and fell for a bite <laughs> lipstick yesterday. Oh, it's the multi-stick and it was only $6. So I just, I did it. I'm sorry. I am a hypocrite. I lied. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but the one thing I will give myself, I'm not liking it. I really don't like it. And I'm actually on my way to Sephora to return it because it's not great. Um, very, very dry. I actually like screamed when I put it on this morning because I could not blend it out. I was like, ah, I'm already late and I have to like ruin all, like redo all my makeup. I still don't like the way it looks. It's on my eyes. I believe it's creasing as well. So that's not great, but it's drying on my lips. I just, I, I'm not, I don't like it. I don't like it. I think they're, there is no way that one product can do this much. And I guess for everyone's skin and texture differences and uh, preferences, et cetera, it might work for some people. It just does not work for me. I do not like this. So so I just wanted to say, yes, I effed up and got the one thing I said I wasn't going to buy in my anti-haul, but at least it was only like six bucks. So yeah, today I'm wearing the Bite Multi-Stick and Cashew. Not loving it, would not recommend. I will not be buying multi-sticks in the future. Hey friends, it is Friday, finally. This has been the longest week of my life. My, I just had a bad hair week, I think in general. Like I've been stressing all week. 
and I haven't been sleeping and I'm just not feeling too great. So um, honestly, I've been struggling to keep up with this lipstick diary episode, but I've been trucking on like trying my best to um, get a little bit more creative with it. I don't know. Cause all I want to do this week is just like wear lip balm all the time, but I'm trying to be good and I'm trying to continue uh, what finish what I started essentially. Today I'm wearing two colors layered on top of each other and it's actually gotten darker, which is interesting. I'm wearing the Urban Decay, um, this is back when it was a Revolution lipstick, but they have it in the Vice lipstick line too. It's called Stark Naked, which I actually think that I'm gonna declutter in my next declutter. I'm actually gonna do another makeup declutter in January, kind of like a second round to like get to a slightly more minimalist makeup collection. But I think this is gonna be one of the ones I declutter. I am not loving it. Um, with the gloss on top, it actually looks nicer, but I don't know if I've had it for so long, like it's old packaging, it's super old. And the fact that I've had it for this long and just don't use it is like a bad sign for sure. And then on top of that, I put the Tarte um, H2O gloss in the color Hang 10. It's pretty, I just don't know how I feel in general about this entire situation. <laughs> um, like I said, I've been loving Champagne Mommy by ColourPop lately and that's really the only gloss I think I need to be quite honest. So I might, I might declutter this one as well. You'll have to stay tuned for my next makeup declutter. But if you haven't seen the one I already did, I'll link it right here and in the description. But I don't know. I'm not feeling today's lip, but I really haven't been feeling anything this week. So I'm just tired and I'm happy it's Friday. And I'll talk to you tonight, actually, because I'm going out to dinner. So I'm going to switch up the lip, maybe actually do my hair so I can feel better about that. Um, so I will check in later tonight. Oh, hi. I'm back with a Friday evening lip situation. Um, this is what I'm currently wearing. I put on some eyeshadow and I am wearing the YSL Rouge all day. Um, what is it? Liquid Balm in the color Chase Me Nude. I think it's number 12. I actually put this one on first. It's Clinique's Broadest Berry. Oh my God, everything's rolling away. Clinique's Broadest Berry Chubby Stick. And I took it off. I didn't like the way it looked with this outfit. I'm wearing the AFRM uh, Zadie Sheer Turtleneck in the Chevron tie dye and I really like it, but I don't feel like a dark lip. I feel like it's just too much already. So I wanted to just go with a comfortable bomb. Plus I'm going to dinner, so it's all gonna come off anyway. So that is my look. Hey guys, it's Saturday. Um, I feel like you can't see the actual color of this product right now. Honestly, I'm not feeling what I'm wearing at the moment. It is uh, ColourPop's Magic Wand. It's their uh, ultra satin lip. So it's very satiny. It's very comfortable, which I like. I don't know. I'm just not feeling these like kind of beigey nudes these days. I just usually want something more like my lips but better that kind of like makes me feel like it's my own lips but looks a little bit brighter and it makes my face look fresher than like a nude lip. I don't know. I don't know, I used to love nudes but I'm not really liking them that often. I actually gave my mom, I'm setting today with my mom so I gave her <laughs> the lipstick uh, and the lip gloss that I wore the other day. I forgot what it was. It's the Tarte H2O lip gloss and the um, Urban Decay Revolution in Stark Naked because I told you guys I might declutter those. So I ended up just giving those to her because I don't want them. And this will probably go in a declutter pile too, but I'm waiting until um, I do my next makeup declutter, which will be in January. And then I will declutter all of these, but just to get a good idea of how I like these when I wear them is really nice because I feel like you can't tell if you actually like it until you put it on and wear it out. And then you're like, oh, I don't like the way this feels. It doesn't feel like me. I don't like the way it looks on, etc. cetera. Um, so yeah, I'm not feeling this one. I don't know, I used to love it, but really not feeling the nudes these days. So I think I'm gonna get rid of it later. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Hey y'all, I keep trying to use lipsticks. It's Sunday morning, I just don't care right now. Uh, I am wearing the Fresh Sugar Lip Balm in the color Rose. I've used the crap out of this and I didn't really think I was gonna like it this much. I just really like that it has SPF and a little bit of color and moisture all in one. I don't have to worry about layering a bunch of stuff. Um, so I'm using that and then I'm actually using this, this is weird because you can't smell it, but this Ralph Lauren Romance, oh, Beyond Romance fragrance. This was actually sent to me by Influencer, which is very odd because they used a whole big box for this one tiny perfume, which is very not cool, but I don't know. I'm trying it out today. It smells interesting. I don't know if it's something I would have picked out on my own, but I'm going to give it a try. I don't know. Fragrance is a very odd thing to just like try something out of the blue. Um, but we'll see if I like it. But yeah, I'm wearing lip balm. I'm sorry. I just don't, I, I don't want to do, I don't want to life today. Going to Trader Joe's, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, happy Monday morning. It is so gloomy and sad outside, but I actually love it. I, I, I don't mind uh, gloomy weather. 
Today I decided to wear white maple and I am loving it. I feel like this is close to my perfect red because it's not too bright. It's kind of more of a brick red. I'm trying to move this camera so you can actually get better lighting. I was too lazy to wear mascara today. I'm like, I'm just not feeling it. Um, wanted to look a little bit profesh, so yeah, red lipstick it is. I really love this, honestly. Um, I don't know, white baby lipsticks are nice. Hopefully it won't like run everywhere because I've talked in the in the past about my my issue with Bite Beauty's darker lipsticks, but for now I love the color and I feel like all reds are a lot, a little bit too bright on me, whether they're cool toned, what's on my lip? Whether they're cool or warm toned, I just feel like they always end up um, being a little bit too bright, a little bit too overpowering on me. And I actually really like this one and I think it's a little bit more casual red. So yeah, we'll see. I might check back in at the end of the day and let you know if my thoughts have changed. Good morning guys, it is uh, Wednesday. Today I decided, because it's actually cold outside, I bundled up a little bit and I decided to wear Charlotte Tilbury's Bond Girl, which is a beautiful, like slightly red berry shade. Um, I really like the way this looks on me. It actually looks different right now. I feel like I'm not wearing enough blush, but usually it looks a little bit different on me. I think I layered it a little bit more, but I just love this color. It's so unique. Um, it really grew on me. I used to hate it when I first opened it in the Sephora Favorites kit last year or earlier this year and it really grew on me and I love it. No, it was last year. Love it, so I'm wearing this today. Um, I wanted to be adventurous and wear something a little bit different. So I feel like this is my halfway point because I actually wanted to wear lip balm. <laughs> but I was like, this is your lipstick diaries. You cannot do this again. Um, so yeah, bomb girl it is. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, I like forgot what day it even is in my lipstick diaries, but um, good morning. Today I'm wearing the um, YSL color bomb in the color Chase Me Nude. And the reason I'm wearing this, I know it's boring and it's a lip balm, but I'm going to a few holiday parties tonight, um, two, and I'm gonna wear some fun lipsticks tonight. So I'll definitely check back in then. I just wanted to be comfortable. It's Friday. I'm not trying to like try too hard or maintain lipstick. I just wanted to be comfortable and like have some life and color on my lips. So decided to wear this color bomb and I will check back with you tonight because I'm going to two fun parties. I'm excited. I'm gonna try to do my makeup all fun and get a little bit festive. So I will check back then. Um, I will talk to you later. Hey guys, if I look tired, it's because I am. Um, it is officially nighttime and I'm wearing this like pink uh, satiny shirt situation. So I didn't want to go too crazy with my lip, especially because I have this Stila glitter on that went everywhere. I'm honestly not really liking it as much as I thought I did. Um, so I decided to use the NYX lip lingerie in bedtime flirt, which is a nice nude pink. I just didn't want to go too crazy because I've got the jewelry, I've got the, the shiny satin, I've got like rings on. Um, sparkly eyeshadow, everything. So I like this look a lot. It's very kind of toned down, but still like in your face. Um, so yeah, I use the NYX Lip Lingerie in Bedtime Flirt. I don't know if I like these anymore. I'm really honestly over liquid lipsticks because they are so drying. They crack, they peel, whatever. Even when I do it right, they're just not fun and easy to reapply. So I don't know. I'm not really loving liquid lipsticks these days, but I thought I would use this because I used to love it and I haven't used it in a long time. So I will talk to you tomorrow. Good afternoon, it's 1.30 uh, p.m. in the afternoon right now and I just thought I would update you what I'm wearing. I actually just got ready. Um, but I used this product earlier in my, earlier this week I guess in my um, lipstick diary and it is Bite Beauty's Cashew Multi Stick and I was gonna go back to Sephora and return it and ended up saying let's give it another try and I actually really like it. When I first put it on earlier, in this lipstick diary, I think I used it um, straight from the tube. This time I put it on my fingers, kind of blended it out and used it that way. I honestly really like it. I think it's really nice. I'm wearing it as lipstick, as eyeshadow and as blush. And it's the color Cashew again, I think for like a $6 price that these were on sale for since they're getting discontinued. Um, it's really not bad. And I am actually really, really liking the color. I think it grew on me because I was, I, I hated it when I first used it and I thought I was gonna return it, but I think I really like it. So that is all I'm wearing today. Um, not much to say, but I like a good multi-stick so I can touch up my whole face with just one little stick in my bag instead of carrying a bunch of products, which I probably wouldn't do anyway. I will check back in um, and I will talk to you guys later. Hello, um, I am currently getting ready to go to another wedding. I have so many wedding things this season. Um, hair's not done, it's kind of setting and then I have to like fix it, so just ignore that even though I just draw, <laughs> drew your attention to it. Today I decided to wear two lipsticks that I didn't actually want to wear, but I felt like the whole point of this is to experiment and use stuff that you don't usually use. 
Um, and now having put both of them on about 30 seconds ago, I think I will declutter both eventually um, in my next declutter. But this one is Flesh, not Flesh 3, this is 1995. Uh, Pat McGrath, which is my first year, so I always thought that was cool, but I also am just like not a huge fan of how matte these lipsticks are. As beautiful as they are and as nice of a finish as they have, um, it's not comfortable for me and I really like more comfortable swipe on and go kind of lipsticks these days. And then the next one I have is Tarte H2O Gloss in the color Sundress and I honestly think I only use Champagne Mommy lip gloss from ColourPop now, so I feel like there's no need for me to have a bunch of other glosses that I never use. So I'm a, a feeling like these two will be decluttered, but I guess we shall see. Um, thank you so much for watching this. Please leave all your feedback below if any. Um, I always love hearing everyone's feedback, especially about the Lipstick Diaries. Um, it's, it's hard to keep up with sometimes, but I'm trying my best, so uh, I really enjoy doing them. Let me know how often you want to see one, how long you want them to be, et cetera. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so for more videos just like this one. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.